Hello single Gemini, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony and this is going to be your love reading for the month of April 2023. As you probably know, this is a reading for anyone that has placement in the sign of Gemini, such as Ascendant, Sun or Moon. Also, please be aware, it's a general reading. Take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind. In this reading, I'm going to look for what chances, opportunities you might have in your relationships area, Gemini. Everything that you need to know about your love life, supporting opposing energies, everything that Gemini needs to know when it comes to love and relationships for the month of April. So, let's have a look. And we have the Justice card as the general energy for your month, Gemini. This is a period in which all of your actions are going to be leading to the result that you are desiring. Then we have another major arcana, the Temperance card in an upright position followed by Knight of Swords in upright position 2 and then Two of Cups in upright position and right here right now Gemini in the beginning of the month we have you with the Three of Wands energy and this is a great it's a great energy to begin the reading because this is you expecting something great, something good, something that would represent the world to you or would represent you having finally what you really desire. It's a proactive energy of following it, uh, chasing it, going after it or making so that you attract it towards you, Gemini. Mars it's finally out of your sign it's now in your second house if you are Gemini, Gemini riser, rising for example uh, and uh, certain pressure that you might have experienced especially when it comes to communicating with people because Mars was in your sign for more than seven months and uh, what Mars is, it's a war, it's a blade, and it was in your sign, which is what? Two people. Aggression, fight, even war between two people was the energy for, I believe, some of you at least. So this is finally over, and uh, it's a good obstacle that it's been removed in order for you to start, start making plans for the future and being proactive of getting it and the justice on top of it is saying that whatever doesn't belong to you and your um, new perspective on things needs to be cut away and this is what you're gonna do with the right judgment and with the right decision making in this period you are highly supported by this energy to improve everything that might be still keeping you in a position that uh, you might recognize as um, not the best one for you or not the one that you desire so much but together three of ones with the justice it's like any activity any ambition that you have to improve in this period especially when it comes to true love relationships being presented in your life it's highly supportive for this period if this is what you want because this is the energy in your reading the two of cups well the chances are that uh, you might just recognize an opportunity in this period Gemini because two of cups it's uh, one of the best cards that uh, one can have in a romantic love reading because it indicates either the appearance of such a person or it's indicating 
a decision, a choice that it's going to be made in that direction. And we also have the temperance card, which is talking about supporting energies being available for you when it comes to your belief system, your values in the area of relationships and your understanding. Some of you might be asking yourself, what is that you truly want? What is worth tempering yourself and not only tempering yourself, but, you know, uh, having, you know, according to you, of course, all the time in the world and all the perfect situation so that you can have it so that you can get there it's uh i believe more on a mental level but it's still very you know encouraging you to really take a chance on this new energy that it's coming for you in this period because we also have the knight of swords and what i usually take this energy for it's um agent of change a rapid sometimes aggressive uh, development to do with something changing something moving forward something being pushed so that it no longer stays the same so what is it that you want to push away or cut away from your life gemini change is coming you are ready for it you are supported it's a divine guidance available to you with the angel in the card and it might lead to true love offers being exchanged in this period Gemini for some weird reason and I'm gonna say it because if it comes to my mind maybe it needs to be mentioned I believe that Gemini some of you Gemini are actually going to recognize an opportunity in this period month of April to really commit to yourself again it's like the Gemini sign in the during the period of uh, Mars being in your sign I would be imagining that it would look like these two people are with their backs facing their backs and not exchanging anything and it's like now is the time for you to really put aside any differences in your own emotional world that might be preventing you on being right on spot on what you want what your desire is what your choice needs to be Gemini weird to say this but I just felt it and if it's resonating with you let me know but I see that there is an opportunity for you to cut there are two blades on a strategic places in your reading Gemini to cut things that might be preventing you from making progress finding true love relationships or recognizing the need for one choosing to have them and uh, really be optimistic about what is gonna follow I'm gonna clarify this Knight of Swords for Gemini in their love relationships reading for the month of April what does it represent to them and we have the devil Wow devil can be pure fear or toxic belief to do with change or you might be pointed in this period to unhealthy patterns in your behavior when it comes to you being true finding true love recognizing what you really truly need and want in your life Gemini also 
it will be an opportunity for you if you are truly honest with yourself to cut this influence because I believe this negative aspect that it's presenting itself behind certain rapid change it's actually an opportunity for you to cut it out then I would like to clarify this three of wands for Gemini in their love relationships reading April why is it here and we have page of pentacles in reverse which indicates that uh, you might have missed something or you might have uh, you might have had you might have this feeling that you missed something material something practical maybe you missed an opportunity and this is the exact reason why you are willing to try harder and good for you Gemini because this is the way the winners get motivated this is something not coming your way that it's actually being recognized and uh, your behavior your proactive approach to the situation is gonna balance things out and in the balance game you might have to cut some illusions or some fear needs to be cut out and left behind because remember the justice is here to support you greatly and to give you just the full result results to your actions whatever you decide to act on Gemini and of course there is a price also in the reading so to speak true love offer true love mm, person real one might be available for you in this period on top of any uh, you know fear-based beliefs rapid changes or adjustments with your belief system so I hope you recognize this as well let's see what else Gemini needs to know about love relationships in the month of April show me everything else that Gemini needs to be aware of so just this card is being clarified with king of cups in an upright position temperance card is being clarified by two of pentacles knight of swords the devil is being clarified by queen of pentacles and the two of cups is being clarified by four of pentacles and the final outcome for you it's two of wands Gemini and uh, since this is again two of wands on top of the three of wands with you missing something <coughs> so to speak you might just have to make a step back on a mental level of course when it comes to what led you to right here and now and did you miss to claim everything that you desire and you need because you know what it is with this energy this is just a brainstorming because final outcome is you holding in your hands everything that you desire and being very proactive of getting it very uh, um, optimistic of getting it but if you speak your true heart and be honest to yourself and let your heart speak itself through your uh, communication 
with others, the way you connect with people around you, the way that you let what is important to you get, you know, around you, spread the message, so to speak. <coughs> Pardon me again. Well, the justice also indicates that it's now the right time for you to speak your heart and get you know get the message delivered in the best way possible with the results that you might need in this time but i believe that this period actually for you is gonna present an opportunity gemini <coughs> not only to speak your true heart need and desire but to act on it as well and for some of you this is going to be well balancing two things parallel things it might be your present situation whatever that is and this new idea it's another two and uh, two it's a uh, number of duality and um, sometimes it's uh, about opposition about two things but uh, I call this the small magician and with the temperance card underneath this is a indication that your belief system what you value what you understand that it's very precious on a very deep emotional level sacred level I would say is actually gonna help you to manage any situation that needs to be balanced and to be and needs to be you know in control but uh, not in control but to be controlled because of the right beliefs and the right understanding of how they serve you in this situation of you speaking your heart and getting the message out of your chest so to speak and we also have the four of pentacles right on top of the two of cups and i'm gonna say it like there is no control when you come when it comes to true love uh developments gemini and uh, i see this as a warning because you have the two of pentacles it's like you are already mm, with the energy of balancing things up managing two opposing uh parallel mm, things and uh, you're doing just fine because you are very practical and very nurturing very much taking care of yourself and of others this is Virgo energy Queen of Pentacles and it's on top of fast developments to do with you know fear based or addictions or illusions to do with your emotional situation in the month of April Gemini but then if you're managing the situation as good as I see you doing it, being very nurturing to yourself, gentle, kind, as well to others, there is no extra need of control in this situation. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, Four of Pentacles is uh, the energy of one that it's um, really good in um, controlling things on the material world. But love is not material love is um, invisible you cannot touch it you can only feel it and this is the contradiction that i have in your reading because the energies and the the energies around you supporting you are telling you let your heart guide you speak your heart be the king of your emotions by expressing them, communicating about them, literally calming down any storm on your emotional, in your emotional world, so to speak, Gemini. So there is no need of such high level material control. That's what I'm trying to say. What you really need is to take care in this period, Gemini, of any damage that they might that there might be 
in your heart, in your understanding about where you are, nurturing yourself, right diet, good exercise, everything that can support you on a physical level to go through this changes that are coming you're cutting out toxicity and fear out of your life in your romantic love world gemini so this is not a easy task be good to yourself be easy on the control that you might want to use because you're just fine you're capable and managing everything in the best way possible and this is gonna lead you in this period gemini to recognize the world that you want to be in when it comes to love and true love relationships be bold be daring because you made it yourself so to speak you brought yourself here and you can have everything you need actually with this energy and just look at that Gemini I believe that this is the period in which you can really recognize that your world your most precious desire it's actually true love to be presented in your world in your life for some of you there is going to be such opportunity but for most of you it's gonna be a month in which you're gonna actually be honest with yourself and finally express what you really need what you really want and what you really desire Gemini I have nothing else to add take good care of yourself you can manage any situation on a material or mental belief level and you're gonna be just fine very optimistic and very enthusiastic and yes true love is the reason for that that's what I have for you Gemini let me know how you feel about this reading and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i will appreciate it thank you for your time